hey kids, these like succulent things are like really popular right now or whatever. So we're gonna make one of these terracotta flower pots, okay? So what I want y'all to do is open up a new file uh, and call it, I don't know, flower pot thing. Yep. And uh, I always feel like it's weird not being able to see anything. So I'm gonna click right here to see the origin actually. Um, anyways, and then go into your uh, settings and make sure, I'm, I'm gonna do centimeters. I recommend uh, doing centimeters, okay? And uh, let's make this flower pot. So the first thing you should know about these flower pots is they're smaller circles on the bottom than they are on the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use create sketch to make a circle on the bottom, and then we'll put another one that's kind of levitated. So we'll kind of like levitate a sketch and then we'll connect them. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. So first let's create a sketch on the bottom. And I think I'm gonna make this circle about five centimeters, we'll say. Okay, let's finish that. Now I'm going to levitate one above this. Okay, now to do that, instead of creating a sketch on one of these three planes, we're going to have to offset one of the planes. So that's over here under construct. It lets you just make a plane somewhere else. So you can do sketches. So uh, let's do it right here and let's make it six and a half uh, centimeters above uh, the other plane. So once we do that, we'll create a sketch there and uh, I'll make a circle. This one's gonna be bigger than our first circle, okay? So why don't we say like six and a half uh, centimeters, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to just kind of connect these two. Uh, however, if you look at the actual flower pot, uh, it kind of has a lip here for a little bit. It's like about a, you know, maybe an inch or something that goes down. So we're gonna do that first. So let's extrude this. I'm just using the letter E, but if you, you want, you can just click over here, it says extrude. Let's extrude this about one and a half centimeters. Eh, other way. It's a negative one and a half centimeters. And there you go. Now we have uh, the circle here and it can connect to this. Well, first of all, actually, we gotta make another circle here. So let's create a sketch on the bottom of this. Let's go close to the edge, but not all the way there. Kind of like this. I'm doing mine at about six centimeters. Let's finish that. Cool. So now kind of envision the circle down here that I'm highlighting in blue and the circle up here that I'm highlighting in blue. We're gonna connect those two under uh, create. No, is it under create? Yeah, there's this feature called loft. So loft basically just connects two shapes that you've made. So I'm gonna click loft connect these two circles and there you go we've got our uh, flower pot all right however looking at this comparing it to the actual flower pot i feel like i feel like it would be better if this lip was lifted up slightly so what i'm going to do is you can go down here and right click on these and you can edit anything you've done up until now so I'm gonna edit that plane that I made. And instead of putting that at six and a half centimeters, I'm gonna put that at 6.7 centimeters. Eh, six. Cool. And there you go, kind of moved the whole thing higher a little bit. It made it look more like how I wanted it to look. So you could have done that also with uh, the little lip you made, the extrude. If you wanted to edit that, let's say instead of 1.5, I wanted it to be 1.4. And it'll edit the whole thing accordingly. Okay, so now the last thing that we need to do is we need to kind of cut a hole into this. Uh, to do that, we're gonna do loft again. Um, so first things first, let's offset another plane, uh, maybe like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 centimeters. But so offset another plane from the bottom so that I can cut a hole in this. I'm gonna make a circle here. Main mine 4.5, 4.6. You can do that or you can make your own. So, okay. So now let's cut a hole here. 
Oh, you know what? We have to do the same thing up here on the top. So let's create a circle on top as well. Make this go kind of close to the edge. Cool. So now that I have two circles to loft, I'm going to click here and do loft and connect these two circles, and it will cut a hole in them. And there you go. You got your terracotta pot. Uh, however, here's the thing. If you look at the actual pots, they're not sharp edges. They're rounded off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to round off your edges. And it's going to make uh, the things you make in the future look more polished. Okay, Because normally, you know, you're not going to have a sharp edge on a flower pot. So to do that, that's over here under Modify. It's called Fillet. So Fillet makes a curved edge, whereas over here, Chamfer makes it more straight. So I'm going to click Fillet. I'm going to click my edges, and I'll say I want this 0.1 centimeters. And just go ahead and do that for all of your edges. You just use the letter F if you want, instead of actually clicking on fill it. Uh, one. Let's go down here. I think I'm going to curve this a little more. Be more like a flower pot. There you go. Let's fill it a little more. And there you go. You get your final finished flower pot. It's going to fill it the inside too. And uh, go ahead and turn it in under one note. Actually, you know, before you do that, let's go ahead and change this thing's appearance uh, to give it more of a terracotta feel. So right click on it and click appearance. And you can see all the different things that you can make it out of. So we're running out of time. So I'm just going to click something random. Why don't I go under glossy and I'll just make mine out of green. But I know under this menu somewhere there's terracotta. So what y'all could do is y'all can make your flower pot out of terracotta instead of making it like weird and out of green paint like I did. All right. Good luck, kids.